Hey guys, welcome back to Renzo Appetite. So we're here and I'm just gonna, I guess, go get us some coffee and we're gonna find out what Officer Sexpot uh, was gonna tell us. What is this? Look at that. Why are you staring at the table, Detective? <laughs> Thought you were gonna get us that coffee. I'd really like that coffee. Okay, damn. Look at this. That was pretty meta, though. Okay. What's up, Mark? How's it going, twin? Hello, Detective. You feeling better? Yeah, I'm all right. It's good that you came here. A cup of coffee will fix you up nicely. How many will it be? Uh, three, it would seem. Thanks, Mark. Coffee's great for all kinds of brain damage. Say, do you know anyone called Brad by any chance? Seem around with Chris and Diane, maybe? Possibly back when they first moved in? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't recall seeing them with anyone else, especially anyone from outside Pineview. All right, anyway. Thanks for the coffee, Mark. Take care, Detective. All right. Take this. Got the coffee. Now to get it back to the table before it gets cold. I know what you're doing. Oh, where'd you put it? Did you put it in your butt? Uh, first of all, sir, I understand that you are the OG sex pot, but now that Stone has on his stress out outfit, he's also kind of hot. So you don't, uh, you don't get to act like you're the front runner anymore. All right, get up out my chair. Yeah? All right, so what do you want to show us? So their mail just came in, Chris and Diane's. And there's a couple of things here that you might find interesting. There's bills, of course. Nothing suspicious about those. Unless it's a bill for murder. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we've got two tickets. One way to... Okay, what was the first place? It was Madagascar, right? Because I think it went Madagascar, Antarctica, and Ukraine. Madagascar? Ma yes, Madagascar. How'd you know? That's amazing. I'm an actual detective, bitch. Um, yes, anyway, two tickets, one way to Madagascar. They were to leave this Sunday. That'll be four days from now. We might want to call up the travel agency and ask them about it. Yes, I'll do that. This is very useful, thanks. Oh no, that's not all. Officer Blunt says this one here will make you particularly happy. Chris and Diane received an invitation for a wedding. Someone named Emily's getting married to a guy named Brad. Yep, there's also a phone number there. Do you think we should call him for a talk? Ha! The soup thickens. I've given Brad a call. He says he should be able to make it here tomorrow. Perfect. The autopsy results will also be ready by tomorrow. So it looks like that's it for today. See you tomorrow, officer. Take care, detective. I kind of want to watch her walk away, you know? I want him to stand there and watch the person that I want to be the love of his life just fade out of view. Ah, uh, but look at this. This is so, uh, so calming. All right. Where do I want to go? Do I want to just go back to the hotel? Now, let's go look at the church. I want to see what it looks like up there at night. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. ba ba, -ba. Come on with the rain, there's a smile on my face. All right. I love that song. I also had a huge crush on Gene Kelly. Oh, it looks nice. I wish I could see stars there, though. You know what, lady? Add some stars. Snap. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The beauty of being able to do creative things. All right, let's go. I want to walk through the town. Like, that's how wonderful this game is, that instead of just, you know, going forward with the story, I now want to just walk through the town at night in the rain. Oh, I can't... Uh oh, excuse me, tree. <laughs> well, then. Screw that. So pretty. I'm just going to... I'm just going to go. I'm not even going to talk anymore. We're just going to enjoy the quiet as I make my way back to the hotel.
All right. Where was it? Not Central Street. I guess it won't let me go anywhere but where I need to go. Oh, snap. Somebody with an umbrella. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, detective. Maybe you could help me. How good are you with words? <laughs> I don't like to brag a bit. Hmm. <laughs> actually. Perfect. I'm kind of stuck with lyrics of this song. It goes, With a smile across my face I sigh. We're only here for the blink of an eye. Clouds float, blend with the sky. Drunken dreams, sobers die. Oh, all right. I thought you wanted me to just kind of go with it, so I just kind of went with it. But if you're just going to give me the choices, then fine. All right. Drunken dreams leave me high and dry. Drunken dreams of you and I. Drunken dreams will never fly. Drunken dreams help me get by. Drunken dreams of apple pie. Ah. Fine. We'll go with drunken dreams of you and I. That sounds perfect. Simple, but it says what I'd like it to say. I don't even need to spend time fixing this. Maybe I'll ask for your help again. Oh, please do. Because I love that. That would be a wonderful addition to this game if, like, every time I see you, you're like, hey, give me another line. All right, now leave me be. I need to focus. Thanks, by the way. Okay, bye. Where would you say you were on the 6th of October? What? You're really asking me that? It's kind of what I'm in Pineview for, you know. I was traveling. I... Oh, wait. I think I have proof right here. That'd be funny if he just pulled out his middle finger. <laughs> ah. See these? My boarding pass for my last flight. It has a date and my name and everything. Right. I'll be back if I need anything else. Of course, of course. Thanks for the help. All right. That was nice. I like that. This looks like seaweed. Oh, I love this town. I love Pine View. Ooh, look at the hotel. Hello, Mr. Stone. I hope your stay has been pleasant so far. I mean, as pleasant as it can possibly be, considering the horrible, tragic circumstances that I can't get out of my head. All right. Not <laughs> you don't need to tell her you're having nightmares. All right? You don't need to tell her that. Um, view is great. Yeah, let's talk about the view. The view from the room is great, Mrs. Patterson. It is, isn't it? It's the very best room. My favorite thing to do is to have my morning cup of coffee as I watch the sun rise over the hills. It's been over 30 years, and I'm still not bored of that sight. All right. That's a very intrusive question, sir. How long have you been in charge of this hotel, Mrs. Patterson? My husband built a hotel when we were in our 20s. We've been here ever since, about 30 years now. Oh, sweetie, you look very good for your age. She actually looks like this lady I worked with. He's from Pineview. He met me when he was out traveling for work. I fell in love with this place and the way of life out here, and I haven't regretted moving here even once. If you don't mind me asking... Where is your husband at the moment? Oh, my husband. He's bedridden, unfortunately. Had an accident a year back where a bed rode him. And he can't move about by himself. He's still got the spirit, though. And he makes all the decisions regarding this place. All the execution and legwork remains mine, of course. I'm happy to do it. I love this hotel. And I love him. Oh. Did you know Chris and Diane? We did meet them a couple of times. They seem like lovely people, the two of them. I don't know what the rumors are all about. Chris wanted to start a hotel here, too. Do you know anything about that? Yes, even met my husband once to talk about all that. We were happy to help them out. We know how difficult it can be to get started with something like that. We're going to talk, all right? We're going to do this because I'm a detective and priority numero uno is to get to the hole of every donut. You weren't worried about them competing with your hotel? Oh, no. It's been many years since all our mortgages and debts were paid off, and we've been comfortable since then. Lucky you. 
We get a couple of regular guests every so often, and that's enough for us to keep things running. Now the hotel is just a hobby. We don't do it for the money. I like how my cursor was already on that. I'm sorry, Mrs. Patterson, but I must ask you. Where were you around midnight on the day of the shootings? Oh, I was here, of course. This hotel can't run without me, you know. And, of course, there's dozens of people, staff, guests, that could confirm that. Midnight, though, I'd be in bed with my husband. All right, Mrs. Patterson. Thank you for your time. No problem, Detective. Happy to be of help. All right. Ah, I'm going to head to my room, but I'm going to enjoy all the bushes and the trees and the windows and the breeze. Oh, the front of this hotel's dope. It looks like a ski lodge. Ugh, I could really use a long, warm bath right now. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get changed first, though, sweetie. Let's get changed into, uh, into your sleepwear. All right. And let's, uh, before you take your bath, go outside if you can. It's too cold to go outside. Oh, come on. It's always too cold for you, you jerk. Turn the lights off. Yeah. Because I want you to get in that bath. A bath will set me straight. Are you gay? Maybe. Oh, okay. You're questioning. <laughs> My mind keeps wandering back to her. Why? What are you bathing in? That looks toxic. My mind keeps wandering back to her. Why? Why can't I... The case. Think about the case. Brad, we'll meet him tomorrow. Wonder what he can tell us. Chris and Brad study together, I think. Ugh. Is... Is there no escape? Oh, that's what you get for bathing in toxic sludge. What do you have to say about that? Anything? Why would I take another bath? I'm just saying look in there, damn. You sure it's too cold still? It's too cold. That's a, ah, freak you. La freak, say chic. Sure, that'd be cool if I could wander the hotel. Wait, not yet. Let me just see if I can go out. No worry about that. I've doubted. I just, okay. I don't want to go out right now. Wait, so does that mean you can go out another time? I don't know. All right, let's let's hop in bed. Let's get in there. Yes. Ugh, no nightmares today, I hope. I hope so too for you. I want you to have a good night's sleep. Oh no. It's a platforming nightmare. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh. Ch -ch 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 uh. Just stone. Cause I'm walking, cause I'm never alone. Yeah, I got lady. She's following me. Controls, but not bothering me. All right. What's going on? Is there anything I can click? Is this a building I can fall off of? That's cool. It can't be. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, that's cool. Did it go back to the beginning again? No. No, no. It can't be. Uh, please. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I made it. Uh, no. I'm not going to, like, make you scream loud. All right, I ain't getting paid to actually act. <laughs> ah. Oh, no, not this again. Oh, God. <laughs> At least she's not all ghosty. Abigail. I, I want to. I keep thinking about it. Later. What? 
That's actually kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, I was like, that's pretty at first, and then it scared me for some reason. Oh, here he is. Ugh, my head is so bright in here. I clicked out the game. Apparently, I'm not bright in here. Officer Blunt will be waiting in the cafe. I should go meet her. Whew. Can you go outside now? I want you to go outside. All right. You want to pee first? No? All right. Today, you're going to wear your... Uh, yeah, you're going to wear this, because you know what you're going to try to do? You're going to try to be, like, really sexy and down to earth, you know, for Blunt. You want her to know that you're willing to open up to her, you know, show her a side of you that's not just all about work. So that's what you're going to wear that for today. Okay, let's go. Meow. Yes, you should. Good morning, detective. We've got a couple of tasks lined up for today. Brad is in Pineview, so we can talk, so we can have a talk with him. Dr. Martinez has also informed me that autopsy- That guy is back! Yeah, you're not that old. You're walking around all the time. Um, Dr. Martinez has also informed me that the autopsy report is ready. Hmm. Let's... Alright, what do I want to do? You know what, let's get more coffee. Let's just chill. I think I need more coffee. Would you like some? No, I'm good. Alright. Can I talk to you again? But have it not be the same dialogue? Good morning. Ah, uh, back again. Any new answers from the tea today? The answer is the same, obviously. No, I'm just admiring the beauty. This is so much more fun when it rains. The smell of rain adds so much to it. Petricor? Petricor? I've never known how that's pronounced. Uh, what'd you call me? Petricor. That's what the smell of rain is called. Detective. Oh, wow. You've blown my mind. That's so beautiful. Petricor. I need to think over this. I need some time with this. Wow. Well, be seeing you. All right. I think it's Petricor. Petricor? I think that's how it is. Or, or, pet yeah. Hello, Detective. What do you need? Sup, twin? Just the coffee. No comment about my sweet, sweet jacket. Here you go. How you feeling today? Sleep do you any good? A little better, I guess. A lot of people that visit Pineview have said that coming here was one of the most rejuvenating experiences of their lives. The peace, the mountain air, the fresh coffee. It's no surprise Pineview has that effect on people. Well, here's hoping. Thanks, Mark. Oh, hey, Will! Look at you, just zooming along, just sliding along, not using your legs. All right. It's good stuff. Are uh, you coming back this way, huh? You just checking me out? I know. You're looking at the competition, huh? Look at this sexy man. Okay, let's sit down. Oh, I do like that it added another coffee there. Can I do that again? Oh, uh, can I just keep going again? I just want to see if I can get one more coffee. Yep, yep, yep. Go get me another cup. All right, it's your job. Got the coffee. All right. Did I even pick the coffee up last time? Oh, wait, can I talk to him again? Oh, no, same thing. All right. All right. Oh, I didn't add another one. All right. Let's just talk about the case. What have we got so far? Well, not much more than we had yesterday. We know that only recently they had planned to go for a vacation together. Does something change that? Oh, okay. So I guess that's just going to recap whatever we just learned rather than us having like a real discussion. Okay. Um, what time am I at? Where, where I be at? I'm at 23. Let's check the autopsy report. Let's meet Dr. Martinez, see what the autopsy report can tell us. All right, we can head to the hospital. Shall we leave now? Um... Yes. Yeah, let's not waste any more time. All right, lead the way. 
Ugh, it's really chilly today. It gets cold here when it rains. It was raining all night yesterday. Whoa! Hey, you okay, man? Uh, yeah, just got spooked. What a jerk. He was clearly driving beyond the speed limit. Beyond dreams, beyond reality, beyond space and time. Ah, my photos! Don't worry, I'll get them for you. I was a golden retriever in my past life. Yep. That. Dun, 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 dun. Did he really kill her? That's what everyone says. Stop your yapping! And one more. Oh, there's another one. Found one. Oh, a little dog! What's up? Don't you pee on that. Hey, buddy. Can I have that photograph? Hmm. I don't want to damage the photo by snatching it. Oh, uh, so do I need to give you some meat or something? Oh, yeah. I guess I'll have to make a trade. Hmm. What does a pup like to eat? Let me get some food. Let's get some food from somewhere. Can I get some donuts? Maybe them dones will help. Oh, let me talk to Will, though. What's up, other sexy man? Uh, calm down. Any progress with the case? Can't discuss that with you, Will. Yeah, of course. Can't help asking still. I've always been interested in criminal law. Considering that it's a crime to be this fine. I ended up going to a law school, but the idea still fascinates me. It's so much more appealing than what the rest of us scrubs do. Working jobs we don't care for just so we can pay the bills. Ain't that right? I mean, for instance, look at you. You're a detective. That is awesome. So while you go about investigating in an official capacity, I'm going to keep my ears open as well, alright? I'll let you know if I stumble onto something I can help you. Just stay out of trouble. I will, I will, I'm will. Just eavesdropping, nothing illegal. Well, in some cases eavesdropping is illegal, but I appreciate you. I appreciate you wanting to be my, uh, my eyes on the ground, so to speak. Maybe he did. They did look odd. What did the guys stop talking to sales? Let me talk to Mark. Hey, Mark, do you have a bone or something that I could give to that pup there? <laughs> uh, need the photo from it, eh? Hmm. I actually just dumped all that in the, cra in the crash tram outside. I'm just going to say it. Because you know what? Spoonerisms are my thing, and they come out naturally. Just let them happen. I'll have to dumpster dive. Sorry, detective. I don't have anything else in the cafe right now. Ugh, all right. Thanks, Mark. I mean, to be fair, a dog will eat its own shit. It will eat its own vomit. It will nibble on dead creatures. So really anything that you had in the cafe would have worked. Literally anything. Okay. This better work. I meant it better work. Got it. Oh, I, I just realized he meant, like, with the dog. I thought he was saying, like, this better work, as in, well, putting my hand in the garbage to take something out of it, better work to get something out of it. Hey, boy, look what I got. Offer a bone. <laughs> not interested? Huh, can't say I blame you. I'm not that attractive. Actually, you are very attractive, all right? You know, the dog just doesn't have good taste, that's all. I wouldn't chew on it either. Would you like something sweet, maybe? See, I told you. You should have got them domes. You should have got them domes. I ain't going to you, Mark. I'm going to get some domes from Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Who? I'd like to buy one of your donuts. Serious? <laughs> <laughs> ah, bless me. For I have sinned. Seriously? Why? Are you surprised? I thought you'd never eat them. Actually, I need to give it to a dog. You see, the dog's got something I need. You want to give my donuts to a dog? Come on, Grandpa, I need help. I'll come back and eat your donuts some other time, I'll promise. Nah, okay, hold on. Here's some biscuits instead. I don't think donuts are good for dogs. Awesome, thanks, Gramps. Who? Nothing that we eat is technically good for dogs, but, you know, dogs will eat it anyway.
That detective, I curfew. What, what did you hear about me? That I keep collapsing? Who's telling you my business? Here, would you like a biscuit? Hey, you want some of this, boy? Ah, you like this, eh? Right, you focus on the don, and I'll take that photo. <laughs> Mine. That's all of them, I think. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, hello. What's this car doing outside this house? That's very, very interesting. Okay. Press E to exit, or, you know, click. And just click on it. I should ask Johnny what he knows about this picture. Can I talk to you again, sweetie? No? All right. Lady, get out of my way. Johnny, did you click this photograph? I'm sorry, where do people say that? Where do people say, did you click this photograph instead of take it? That's a serious question. I'm wondering where in the world people put it that way. Yes, I did. Isn't that Jack's car? Yes, nice car, isn't it? I was just passing by that day and it looked... Did you see anything else? See anything? No, I just took the photo and... Did you see anyone? Jack, Diane, Chris? No, Chris wasn't there that day. His car wasn't. I think Diane and Jack were in the house. But, well... Johnny, can I keep this photo? It'll really help us out. I think so. I've got the negative, so I can just make another copy. Do you think you may have any other photos like this that could help us? Um, not really. I don't know which photograph would be helpful to you. Hmm. Can I have a look at the others? I don't have any more here. They're all up in my room at home. All right, Johnny. Can you tell me... Oh, okay. Where were you on the night of the shootings? I was at home with Granny. I think I was home by nine or so. You can ask her about it. Did you know Chris and Diane at all? Not really. I just knew what everyone else did. They... They would fight a lot. They weren't very friendly with the rest of us. All right. Have you noticed anything unusual lately? Unusual? Nothing, really. New faces in town, perhaps? Well, there is that... Anav fellow. Anna fellow. He's here on a holiday. Stays in the same hotel as you. But I think he came here after that night, so I don't know. All right. Thanks for your help, Johnny. Officer, we've got work to do. You hear that music, dude? What? What? The game music? No, not really. Ah, well, anyway, he's a great musician. Or was. 1969 to 1996. A person's lifetime of work, memories, and experiences. All reduced to that small hyphen between two numbers. It's messed up, man. <sighs> you know, I know a couple of people I think you'd enjoy talking to. But, um, what, what were we going to do? We were going to go see Martinez, right? But we're not going to do that right now because I believe I'm at 30 minutes. So we're going to end this here. going to fix my foot before I do my little wrap up of the episode. Uh, yeah, this is getting good. You know, it's got some uh, twists and turns. I'm getting new characters introduced into the mix. I really like the addition of things that don't necessarily have to do with the core gameplay. Uh, but they add a bit of flavor to the town and a little bit of character. And I do like that there are new mechanics, like me going to collect the photos and that actually having a point, which I already knew it was going to have, that I was going to probably look at the photo and be like, ah, something's in this. But I like the fact that the developer, Armand, took the time to think of other ways for us to discover evidence instead of it just being about asking questions. So that's really cool. Uh, looking forward to continuing this. Like, I know that I raved about it when I played the demo, and I did vote it as, like, my favorite game that I played of the year. Last year, my Frostland Awards. If you did not see the awards, watch them, because there are a lot of good games. But there's just something about it. It just all comes together in a way that's so appealing to me. And I'm having a really good time sitting here playing it. And that's a very difficult thing for a point-and-click game to pull off. Because packs, and I'm going to keep calling them that. I'm going to keep calling point-and-clicks packs, because I hate saying point-and-click. Excuse me, can you get up out of Blunt's face? Can you get up out her face? 
That's what I thought. She just wanted to phase through you again. She's enjoying that. Uh, but a lot of packs, it's just the pacing and everything is so slow. And they can drag on for the player, especially if it's just not engaging. Like you have to be super engaging to have somebody want to keep playing your point and click game. Uh, so very good job so far. Not sure how long the game is, but doesn't even matter. I'm just going to keep going through, keep playing, keep enjoying it.